In this video, I'll teach you how to create a custom GPT in Microsoft Copilot in order to automate your repetitive tasks and do them faster. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So in other words, we will kind of give custom instructions to Copilot. So when we have a repetitive task to do, like writing emails multiple times, we don't have to always give back the context to Copilot. So I am on Copilot here and as you can see at the right, we already have some Copilot GPTs. If I click here on see all Copilot GPTs, Microsoft already gives us some default GPT. By instance, if you would like to create images from words, you could use this designer here. Or if you want a vacation planner, you could use this GPT here. The beauty with this is that you can create custom GPT. As you can see here at the bottom, I created one for my French podcast. It is a title generator because I always had to tell Copilot, hey, I'm doing a podcast on the business side of things and stuff. So I don't want to repeat it every time I wanted to find a title for one of my episodes. So today we'll go through how to create a new Copilot GPT and the tips and tricks and we'll measure the results when you don't have a custom GPT versus when you do. So as you can see here, use the configure or create tool to create a custom Copilot GPT that you can keep private or share. That's the beauty of thing. I'll click here and then it brings me in the Copilot GPT builder. So you have two options at the top. You can go into configure, which is where you're going to enter your data manually, or you can go with create. In create, I advise you to read these different tips here for creating a quality Copilot GPT. You will learn in this video pretty much all the tips that they give you here, but try to create a short and catchy name that will describe its function so you can find yourself in your own mess when you go back to Copilot. Use clear and unambiguous language, make the prompt specific, use questions or statement, and make sure you have the necessary rights when you upload any content in this. For this very specific example, we could start chatting with Copilot here, but we'll go into configure and I will show you step by step on how to create your own custom GPT. So we will name my GPT. I am a professional accountant and I write emails to client very, very often. So let's do it like that. It will be email generator for a professional accounting firm. Here you go. And what the description is briefly describe what this Copilot GPT does. This GPT will help me, will help me draft professional emails for professional accounting, accounting firm clients. Here you go. And then you have instruction in your Copilot GPT here. They ask you instruct your Copilot GPT how to behave, what rules it should follow, what purpose does it serve, does it respond with a certain style. So we'll start typing every line that we want or GPT to keep in mind every time we'll go back to it. So I already typed these instructions in and we'll go over together. We are a professional accounting firm and this GPT will be to draft emails to our clients that are in the banking field. Every time we'll start the email, GPT will take this into account. So we have very professional emails, right? Every email you will draft will be a professional tone. So we don't get sued by our client with like two friendly emails, you know, stuff like that. At the end of every email, I want you to add my professional accountant unique ID, which is 65, 65, 45. So we have something to remove from our head. Don't need to type it ever again. Make sure to add Professional Accountants Inc. It's a pleasure to serve you at the end of every email. One more thing that we can forget. And also please use a bullet point format so it is easy to read for my clients and we get the best reply rate on our emails. All of this is really theoretical. You can also use the create tool if it's easier for you. Copilot will also ask you a question. Are you sure? What shall we consider? So maybe it can be easier for your first one if you're not used to it. 
If we go back to configure, we have a knowledge section. This is very, very powerful because Copilot can take a lot of data on which he will base also his answer. So on top of the instructions you gave him, you will be able to upload a file here. So you can basically add any file if you have the financial statements of specific clients that you want to put in there maybe to add some data that you want to send to your specific client if you want to make a specific gpt each one for each of your client you could add their previous financial statements you could ask straight up copilot what are the sales from previous year, year for this client and it's going to go in the pdf find this information for you if you need Copilot to browse through the web, go to Google to find some answers, maybe not useful for an email. So I will basically uncheck that. But if you will have a different GPT, let's say you are a walking guide tour like I am during the weekend and you want some Quebec City data, then you could just check that and it will allow Copilot to go search through the web and the difference between Copilot and ChatGPT is that there is no cutoff for his knowledge. So you can find information from yesterday or two days ago. And the last checkbox is actually if you want it to generate image with DALI, the image generation system, then you can check this for my specific case. We probably don't need to add any image for drafting email for a professional accounting firm. So I will leave both of them unchecked pretty much. Once you click on publish, as you can see, you have the link here and then you can just copy this link and send it to your team so they can access your custom GPT that you just created. All right, to the left, I have a generic GPT and to the right, I selected my email generator for a professional accounting firm. I typed in both of them the same prompt, draft me an email for a client BMO, and I'll click submit and we'll compare the results to see how my custom GPT is performing. As you can see to the left, it did a really, really generic email, no bullet points, nothing else. To the right, as we said in our custom GPT, it used some bullet points as we asked it. And as you can see at the very bottom, Professional Accounting Inc., it's a pleasure to serve you, unique ID 656545. So our custom GPT did its job and we can start a new topic and once again, write another email to another client. That's it. You created your first custom GPT. Note that I'm also working on releasing a full Microsoft Copilot course that will be available soon. If you want to register for the waitlist to be noticed once it's released, it's right there in the description below. And if you want this free infographic on what to do in Microsoft Copilot, it's also down here in the description. Cheers.